Our current weather today was less than ideal. In fact, it was lousy, but it could always be worse. 30 years ago today, May 10th, 1990, up to eight inches of snow fell in some parts of our area with places like Waukesha and Hartford getting the brunt of it. The heavy wet snow caused all kinds of problems, bringing down tree branches and causing power outages. Wow. Mm. Mm. It, it Tom, I was worse. studying uh, broadcast journalism at uh, UW La Crosse at that time, thinking, no way am I going to be a meteorologist having to deal with <laughs> that kind of stuff. It was <laughs> right. Qu it was quite a storm, that's for sure. I was going back through the records that Vince Candela and Bart Adrian have left extensive records uh, going back decades. Really, really cool uh, that they were able to keep all of those records. And uh, take a look at how much snow fell from the storm. Again, 30 years ago on this date, six to eight inches of heavy, wet snow combined Combine that with wind gusts as high as 47 miles per hour. Hearing from many of our viewers tonight, if you have stories from this, uh, go to our Facebook page. Please share them. Uh, flooded basements, uh, trees down, power was out. It was a big mess uh, across this area. And believe it or not, two days before this, on May the 8th, 1990, it was in the low 80s. So we went from the low 80s to 8 inches of snow in 48 hours back in May of 1990. So I guess by comparison, today wasn't so bad, right? It was still not a great day weather-wise. We had some rain and snow showers across the area, still a few of them here tonight, but they'll be making their way out as we head throughout the overnight hours. We still have the cold to contend with as a result of frost advisory in effect from Sheboygan, Washington, Waukesha, and Walworth counties and points to the west, mainly our inland counties here. This is in effect from 2 a.m. to 8 a.m. tomorrow, so another chilly morning on the way before a gradual warm-up starts to kick in. Here is a live look down to the southwest from downtown. Here's the Marquette Interchange tonight. We have the clouds in place. It's a chilly one. We're at 39 at Mitchell. The wind has really lightened up from earlier. A west wind at 3 miles per hour, putting our feels like temperature at 39 degrees. So now we're matching the air temperature. A few hours ago, we had wind chills in the low 30s, that biting wind throughout the day today. We're in the upper 30s to low 40s area wide here tonight. We will all drop into the low to mid 30s by morning tomorrow morning. So here goes this pesky little storm system. You see it spinning away now just off to our east towards Detroit and uh, the Cleveland areas, and that's continuing to make its way away from us. So it's going to pull the precipitation off to the southeast, and that means some sunshine coming out for tomorrow. Let's take a look at Sky Vision Plus, show you hour by hour what we're expecting here. And again, overnight, the precipitation comes to an end. I think the clouds will start to move out, especially by about mid-morning. We'll get you to 9 a.m., starting to see some clearing here, the wind picking up out of the north and northwest. And you'll notice by early afternoon, the wind shifts around to more of an east and southeasterly direction with time. So that means cooler air near the lake tomorrow, warmer air inland. And this is just a little frontal boundary trying to come through Tomorrow evening, it may produce a light rain shower or two. I don't think that's going to be a real big deal for us. The bigger story, I think, is the temperatures for tomorrow. We're going to start out in the 30s area wide. Again, a frosty start to our day. But as we get you into the afternoon and early evening, this is where you can really see the difference between our lakeshore counties and our inland counties. Low 50s inland will likely be in the upper 40s near the lake in the early afternoon before we start to drop later on in the day. So again, 40s near the lake, 50s inland tomorrow. I know if you're Wanting to see those 60s, it's coming back later on this week. We do have a bigger warm-up on the way. In fact, it looks like the next couple of weeks, the temperature kind of keeps going up and up. So we're starting to go uh, feel a little, more, a little bit more May-like around here in about a week or so. Temperatures in the mid-30s overnight tonight. Again, some low 30s in our inland counties. A high of 48 tomorrow. That's near the lake. We'll be in the low 50s inland with partly sunny skies. 53 on Tuesday, and then some rain comes in Wednesday night into Thursday. Near 60 on Wednesday mid-60s Thursday and Friday, and low to mid-60s on Saturday. So again, there's that warm-up, and I think as we get closer, closer to about May 20th, I think temperatures start to go up even more. So we're starting to go in the right direction. With that, I'll toss it back to you. All right, that sounds good, Tom. Thank you. You know, with restrictions on businesses, companies need to find really new ways to connect with customers. The new tool in Racine designed to do just that, coming up.